This video will show you the differences between phrase conditions and paragraph conditions inside of your documents. So to start with, I've set up a workflow that is going to generate a letter that tells someone about my fruit preferences. So I've asked two simple questions. What is your favorite fruit? With some options here. And what fruits do you dislike? Disliked fruits with some options here. Now, I'm gonna go over to my Microsoft Word document and I already have a letter prepared here. And I have a few different paragraphs in here and a few different phrases. Now, one of the paragraphs that I have here, paragraph two, is about why apples are my favorite fruit. If apples are not my favorite fruit, I want this to be removed. If apples are my favorite fruit, I want it to be included. That is going to be set up with a paragraph condition, which I'll show you in a second. Now, we also have this phrase that says, I should also let you know, I don't like bananas. So we're gonna set that one up with a phrase condition because it is part of another paragraph. Now, the difference between a phrase condition and a paragraph condition is intended to allow you to have the proper line spacing. So technically, you could use phrase conditions everywhere, but what would happen would be if I used a phrase condition for this paragraph, then my end result would look like this. It would just leave a blank space where paragraph two is listed. But if I use a paragraph condition, this entire paragraph, along with its line, is going to be completely removed, which means that paragraph number two is going to renumber, as long as I have auto numbering on, is going to renumber as paragraph two. And if I don't have numbering on, it will still re remove that line space so that my document is formatted nicer. So let me go ahead and just show you how I will set both of those up. Let's start with the phrase condition. With the phrase condition, all I want is for this text to be removed right inside of this paragraph. I don't want to mess with any line spacing. So I'll go to my workflow and I will click show phrase when disliked fruits is bananas. Now what this just did is it inserted two bookends for this sentence. It says if disliked fruits is bananas, then this will show and I want to end that condition here. So you don't need to learn any of this syntax, it's all being input by our side system. Now let's go ahead and set up our paragraph condition. So I'll do the same thing with the entire paragraph, number two. So I'll drag my cursor over that paragraph, I'll say show paragraph when favorite fruit is apples. And I can also add additional conditions if I wanted to. And then I'll go ahead and click insert condition. So what that just did is it inserted these paragraph conditions before and after this paragraph. So this P if and this P end if are on separate lines from the main paragraph. So this is on the line before and this is on the line after. And that's going to ensure that your formatting is perfect every time and that the, uh, the entire line space is removed and paragraph three is moved up here. You can also do this, I've shown this paragraph condition with just a single paragraph, but you can do this with entire pages, several pages, uh, as much text as you want can go into a paragraph condition or a phrase condition. 